Hi again, Doug here from X Frames FPV, and today we've got our wrap up slash final thoughts on the Impulse RC Helix. Now, you know, I talked in my previous video about how enjoyable this was to build, and it just was a really fun build. It didn't take any less time than any other builds, but it was just really easy and and or really enjoyable. Um, in part because of how Impulse RC does things, you know, they always make sure that you have all the hardware that you need. Um, they kind of are meticulous about how they do things. Like you can see how the, the system that they use for mounting the antenna, that's really smart and gets it out of the way, gets it where you need it to be, um, and it kind of looks cool, right? Um, you know, a lot of the frames now, they're coming out with kind of strain relief on for the antennas. Um, and that really helps save these, you know, the, this one happens, the VTX happens to come with the kit. and But it, it saves the point of failure, which if they don't have the strain relief, which is always right in here and then your your VTX is done or you have to you know wire up a new antenna on there and it's not the end of the world but it's not um it's not one of my favorite things to do um but let's hit real quick on these components that are on this um customer sent me all of these so this is these were his choice but he did a good job on on choosing components these are the ZMX these are the Fusions X25, 2206, 2300 KV motors. Plenty of power. Um, a little on the heavy side. They're right at right at 30 grams, give or take a couple of um, couple of points. I think they're 29.8 or something like that. So, you know, I'd round I round that up to 30. Um, so, you know, on this light frame, let's go ahead and get the scale in here, and we'll weigh it up. Um, you know, this is not the lightest frame out there for for sure, but it is a very light frame. So let's let's weigh it. So three forty six grams, and then this this is one that's in for repair. Um, this is the hyper light frame, and this is a really light frame. That's three twenty four um, all up minus battery. So, um, you know, part of the extra weight though, I, I have to be, you know, honest. Well, obviously is in the motors, um, the motors uh, on these are about 10 grams heavier for all four. When you add all four together, 10 grams heavier than what these red bottoms are and about 13 grams heavier than what I would normally run on a hyperlite, which is a ZM or the hyperlite V3s. And so then you add, add that that's 13 grams. And then on top of that, you know, we put, you can't see them, but we put the Acon, um, 30 amp ESCs in here. And those are heavier than the, the 20 amp that's on the hyperlite. So all that adds up, I think probably, um, apples to apples. I wish I would have weighed, weighed this before. Um, but I think frame to frame, I think they're going to be very similar, and so it's a really nice frame. I would love to build this up with a really light motor, you know, something in the 24 to 25 gram area. And um, I think it, it just would handle absolutely wonderfully. Um, but, you know, part of the, th the thing is, you know, going back to, um, I'm kind of bouncing all over in this video and I'm sorry because there's so much to hit on, but, you know, some of the things they do that just really are um, are nice is, you know, like the addition of this buzzer here. Let me see if you can, there you go. You can get it there. And it just attaches right to the front of this PDB slash flight controller. It is the best laid out PDB slash flight controller on the market, period. Now, you know, some people don't like though the integrated PDB and flight controller, because if the PDB goes bad, you're at the, out the cost of the whole PDB and flight controller. But, 
Um, I like how clean it makes everything. I like the, as a builder, how easy it is to build because, um, everything just solders right on there and it's, it's really quickly. Now it's really quick. I think if, if to do that, if I had this to do again, I would probably take a little extra time and maybe, um, make all of these wires black and just kind of, um, uh, put little markers on them until, um, I get them all soldered up. And because that's the only thing, one of the things I don't like is, is how the, is, you know, this, this is a real focal point when you're looking at a, a drone is right in here and that's right where the wires go. And, and it's a really good system because how the props spin, you know, these spin clockwise, they're not going to strike these spin, um, counterclockwise. I'm sorry. I was, t <laughs> I was like, I was looking at, it, I was like, wait, <laughs> my thought is all gone. No, these spin counterclockwise, which is that way. And so, um, everything's out of the way. Now this one, I didn't get a battery strap with, and I'm assuming, I think that's probably at my customer's house. Um, because he got this and, you know, opened it up. And I think that probably ended up at his house, but cause I can't imagine that impulse RC would not remember that. Um, but you know, I did a video on this. Um, I, I'm not a big, you know, video person as far as somebody that, that does a lot of videos of, of flight time. And the reason is, is because I test right out in front of my house here. Um, if I'm going to do extra testing, I've got a place that I go that's pretty close to me that I fly, but, um, I test out in front of my house and, um, I'm, I don't really, I enjoy watching steel and, you know, final glide, Aust Australia and schizo and all these guys, I enjoy watching their videos. Um, but when it comes down to, you know, Hey, I built this and here's my maiden flight. Um, for me, it's not something that, um, I get a lot out of. I'm, and so my plan is, is just more about, you know, kind of tabletop discussion, pointing out things. And every once in a while I may throw in a video here and there. So here's a video. Um, I talk about, you know, I, I tune in rate, but then I flip right over to horizon and that's where I kind of do some more, um, the more fast maneuvers. And I do that as a safety thing because I am right out in front of my house and, um, you know, the going into horizon, even though I have it turned way down where it doesn't affect it a lot. Um, it gives you that kind of, you know, if you do get, get lost, like if you're doing a flip, for instance, or if you're doing some really quick spins in acro and, um, you're doing it line of sight and, you know, after you're tuning and, um, sometimes you can, <laughs> you know, you can lose orientation. And so it's just a way to kind of, it's just a safety thing that I've done and you can think it's not the right way to do it, but it's what I do because I want to make sure that I'm safe out in front of my house but let's go to the video and then I'll be right back with you. that I can't it's just kind of a safety thing that I've kind of put out there with myself so that you know so there's no issues with it but boy yeah it's pretty locked in so well that's the helix guys and um, we'll kind of get back to the bench and finish the video all right there you have it so um, you know, you can see that it's a, 
got plenty of power. My wife was doing uh, running the, well, it was my iPhone that we shot that on. Um, but, you know, it's got plenty of power, really strong punch outs, um, really acrobatic. It was very easy to tune. Um, this was, you know, maybe I think two, I call them walks, two times coming back to the computer, unplugging and, you know, hooking up clean flight and getting some PIDs tuned and then right back at it. So, um, it's really easy to tune, you know, like I said, I do, I do tune in rate in rate mode because I think that's probably, that's the best way to tune because if the gyro is active, um, it can kind of get in the way of things. Um, but it's a lot of fun. It's a really enjoyable one to build again. Um, you can again, check out crazy with a K crazy FPV. He's the one that, that, gives you every little detail um on building this thing and you know one of the things i'll tell you why i liked his video so much is is as a builder you spend a lot of time measuring okay so the esc wire needs to be this long the wire going from the camera to the vtx needs to be this long you got to measure it up and he's done all that for you <laughs> and so it makes it so much more enjoyable i just you know i felt like i was cheating a little bit it doesn't you know this this build because there everything is kind of new to you you know the the way you do the escs is different than normal the way the vtx and everything else mounts is different than normal in the pdb so you know it still takes a little while um to do and and um but it's just enjoyable and you know if you guys are watching this and you've seen this hit this <laughs> um, these are the new, I don't even know what they're called, but they're from Racecraft, And I just got these and took some pictures with it and noticed, Hey, I'm not going to be flying with these cause they are obviously taller and it does get in the way of some of the builds. Um, this is a, a fairly tall motor. Um, you can see when you get down, let me see if you can look, you can see in there that prop does sit up quite a bit. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. There we go. That prop does sit up quite a bit. So I think in, in with a lot of other motors, it would end up, you know, going underneath here. But um, if you saw that hit a couple of times while I was doing this video, um, I'm going to beat you to the punch and you say, hey, you're not going to be able to fly with those, those propellers because I'm not going to be able to. But they sure look cool, right? <laughs> They're great for pictures, but not so much for flying on this one. Um, I'll get, you know, as I'm saying goodbye, kind of get a few. Love these uh, digital LEDs, really nice and great place to to put them. But overall, I'm really happy with this. I Like I said, you know, you may see another one of these on my bench and it may be my own that I'm build up at just a super, super light version of this and see how light I can get it and still be really powerful. So hope you guys are in, enjoying these videos. I hope today that you get a chance to fly. Check out my website at xframesfpv.com and there you can get an idea of what I do as far as some of the builds that I've done on pricing. You know, I do also do builds for people like this customer. You know, I've built a few for this for this gentleman in South Carolina um, but if you have parts and you, you know, been meaning to build and you just don't, haven't had a chance to get to them, um, send me an email and we can discuss it and I'd be glad to build that up for you. So again, you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.